Okay, ladies and gentlemen, the audio will be a little janky. I just wanted to say I did this video talking about the Truth and Lending Act, the most important foreclosure video of the day. And as you can see, block, 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 block. Now, these are all songs I've played before. Christopher Cross, go ahead, look at my videos. I played them in the background before. I was just testing something, two things. First, George Michaels, when they kill somebody, that's right, you heard what I said. When they kill somebody, they then make it so that they profit off of the video. So they do this for every single artist that they kill. Uh, Prince, go ahead and try to play his movie, music, especially Controversy. Okay, that I, that's the problems I run into since they died. And George Michaels, too weak. Now, see, I've played Spandau Ballet before. You know this much is true. Okay, I've played that many times because I like Spandau. And then Simply Red, if you don't know me by now, you know I played these songs before. But what's happening is that the title, ladies and gentlemen, the Truth and Lending Act. So let's go ahead and give you guys the information since they want to play games. Because I ain't got to play music. Okay? I don't have to play nobody's music. So we're going to let that get on back to where it was. Hold on now. Uh-oh, can't go here. Because they, where are we going to go? These are my drafts. Uh... Yeah, you, you, there ain't enough information here for y'all to see nothing, so there you go. Uh, where are we going? We're going here to cyber security. Cyber security? Yeah, chat GPT. We're going to show y'all something for a second. Give me one second. We're going to, not looking for that, not looking for the micro trust. Uh, nope, don't look in the revision. Nope, nope. Oh, well, we're going to show you this. This is about debt. This is scriptural. So we're going to show you some scripture. Now, this is, the same policies they have in bankruptcy. If you don't understand how the Bible and the current laws, how they go hand in hand, let me explain to you how they go hand in hand. I told you there are only two things I can remember, scripture and law. I don't remember nothing else. don't remember growing up or nothing. Uh, barely if I see some of my family members, I wouldn't even recognize them. No joke. Well, anyway, let's talk, okay? If you lend money to any of my people who are poor among you, do not charge them interest. That's the one you ain't supposed to charge your brother interest. If you take their cloak, their covering, their clothing as a pledge, as collateral, return it to them by sunset because it is their only covering. They are poor and their cloak is their only covering. What else? Will they sleep in? This is more than likely the NIV. Ladies and gentlemen, you couldn't take the necessities. You could only take what wasn't a necessity. Well, you must understand, even in bankruptcy, because you guys are not listing your home as exempt. They cannot foreclose on your only home. All of you are being kicked out of your home because of your ignorance. That's why you have to file bankruptcy. It's called bankruptcy protection. But you guys are not doing that. Okay, this, this, that, 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 that's not all, folks. We got Mo. I was showing about the Truth and Lending Act. I want you guys to pay attention. This is uh, perplexity.ai. So this is not chat GPT or anything like that where it's going to give you the wrong information. So the first thing we put in here is this case, Nation Star versus Jackson. And that 10th Circuit Court of Appeals said that the non-recourse Federal Consumer Act did not apply to a mortgage loan that was secured by a borrower's vacation home. Why? Because it wasn't commercial property. Ladies and gentlemen, it keeps saying the NFCA. No, 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 no. The Non-Judicial Foreclosure Act is what it was dealing with originally. The Non-Judicial Foreclosure Act, pay attention, and the Pay Attention Truth and Lending Act do not go hand in hand. You have to do your research. Truth and Lending Act, you have a Truth and Lending Act statement associated with your mortgage. It shows you received credit. It's called a consumer credit transaction. The Non-Judicial Foreclosure Act does not apply to your mortgage. The Non-Judicial Foreclosure Act applies to non-consumer goods, household goods. Pay attention. Do your research. The Bankruptcy Code that says a man's property may not be taken 
as it is necessities of life, and it is exempt. And so pay attention. If it is a necessity of life, it is related to exemptions under Chapter 7 Bankruptcy and 13. Bankruptcy law allows a debtor to keep certain amounts of property, home, car, do going through bankruptcy proceedings. This is called exempt property, which is exempt from the bankruptcy estate. Property that cannot be exempt is called non-exempt property. Property that is exempt is generally called the necessities of modern life. So watch this. Hold on. We're going we're gonna to do a little experiment. We're going to copy and then... Uh-oh, see, I knew that was going to happen. That's why I got to go over here and... Because I didn't know what non-recourse, foreclosure, federal, blah, blah, blah. I didn't care about that. That's not what I was asking for. So let's do this. Back, that, and bankruptcy. B-A-N-K-R. Bankruptcy. Let's see what it says. Properties that is exempt is generally called necessities of life. This generally includes sorts of items that are necessities for living and working. Bankruptcy law is concerned about getting debtors out of crushing debt and putting them back on their feet. Why do you guys let them take your houses? May 12, 1933 is the act where the government must take care of your necessities of life. So, of course, they cannot be taken from you. So we're going to go to fine law. This is the information they didn't want you guys to get. So there's no music in the background of this video. Property that is exempt is generally called necessities of life. This generally includes the sorts of items that are necessary for living and working. Bankruptcy law is concerned about getting debtors out of crushing debt and putting them back on their feet. Taking everything from them is counterproductive, and bankruptcy law recognizes this fact. Non-exempt property generally covers items that fall outside of the necessities of life and working. Your car and your home are necessities of life. Okay? Your car and your home are necessities of life. I've been telling people, file bankruptcy. Nobody's been paying too much attention, but understand if they're getting ready to foreclose, and if you've gotten a foreclosure notice, file your bankruptcy and list your house as necessities. And if they won't tell you how to do it, then you tell them they better tell you how to do it. Because you have a right. Come back to this video and look at this. Pay attention. Motor vehicle, up to a certain value. Reasonably necessary clothing. Reasonably household good and furnishing. Household appliances, jewelry, pensions, portions of equity in the debtor's home. Tools for the debtor's trade or profession, up to a certain value. The portion of unpaid but earned wages. Public benefits, of course they can't take that. Damages awarded for personal injury. Ladies and gentlemen, they didn't list homes. How much more so is a home a necessity? Too many people are homeless because these fools took their home because they didn't know how to fill out the bankruptcy paperwork. Pay attention. Who else is putting this information out? Now you see why the video was blocked. You have a Truth in Lending Act statement, all of you. Contact your bank, whether you have a house loan, student loan, car loan. Contact your bank, ask for the Truth in Lending Act statement. It shows you were given credit. That's called a consumer credit transaction. It's not foreclosurable. They cannot take your home on a consumer credit transaction. But you don't understand that because you don't understand the law. So the next time one of you think to tell me what the law is and what it is not, I'm going to stop. I'm not going. No, I'm not going there. Ladies and gentlemen, let me give you guys a little heads up. When I say the God I serve helps me to understand this stuff without ever studying it, I've been saying this since 2012. Now, if you don't believe me, go and see if anybody else is talking about this. Go ahead. I dare you. Go find one video that's mentioning this prior to 2012 because I've been screaming this since 2012. 
Get your Truth and Lending Act statement. Go and look at all the videos I talked about the Truth and Lending Act statement, how they loaned you credit. It's called a consumer credit transaction. The Non-Judicial Foreclosure Act, which is what they're using in court, that's why it's so speedy. The Non-Judicial Foreclosure Act and the Truth and Lending Act do not go hand in hand. You cannot mix the two. Why? Because the Non-Judicial Foreclosure Act applies to non-consumer transactions, commercial loans. Why? Because a consumer transaction is household goods, consumer goods, not for profit, and or gain. It's exempt. Go ahead and take a look at the law. So if it's not a TL or TILA, Truth and Lending Act, then it's commercial. That's why the Supreme Court has said the two are not synonymous, meaning the same. You can't bring both at the same time. That's why you have the right to bring up the Truth and Lending Act. But you must prove that that was the agreement between the parties. Now, you want me to give you something else? Pay attention, because, again, this is the information they don't want out there. Cancel and rescind your loan. Cancel and rescind your loan. Why? Ah, you got to sign up for the SACOM program. <laughs> I can't give you that for free. That's company information. This is what we're doing for all of our people right now. Go ahead. Take a look at the videos. We just asked all of them to turn in their Truth and Lending Act statement. This is a process, people. That's the AmeriLegion program and the AMCF program. This is a process. So if you want to be a part of it, join it. No, 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 no. We can't keep giving y'all stuff for free. We got a business to run. No, seriously, no joke. Um, seven days a week, ladies and gentlemen. You guys hear me. You see me. Seven days a week. And then we're also doing the crypto trading thing. And I got several lawsuits going on. I can't afford to keep giving y'all everything and y'all not giving anything back. I don't want to hear it. It's just the way it is. It's not about money. It's about I can't take care of my own stuff because I'm too busy trying to help y'all out. Okay? So if y'all want to help, get the organization to help by going and applying. Amara Legion, A-M-A-R-A-L-E-G-I-O-N dot com. And AMCF. A as an apple, M as in Mary, C as in Charlie, F as in Frank, dot estate, E-S-T-A-T-E. -E. Those are the two websites. Go there. Sign up. We got your back. Hey, guys, I got to go. But like I said, we're getting ready to take care of things for our people. Goodbye. See you later. Adios. Arrivederci. Sayonara.